Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are here live and it's early in the morning and um, I just want to um, come on and share with you. Uh, we have our morning manner and it doesn't matter if you're getting ready for work, if you're just getting out of bed, we're rolling over, if you're just, um, if you're working from home, if you are um, on vacation, because it is summertime, but um, giving this time to the Lord is so important. And so I thank God for each and every one of you. Um, I thank God for who he is. I thank God for being great in our lives. And I thank God for another day um, and another opportunity um, to um, share with you what thus said the Lord. And I want you to be encouraged on today. Um, so we'll go in. It's already four after the hour. Um, and so... Um, we want you to um, be aware um, that God is with you and he promises never to leave us nor forsake us, but to be with us until the end. Um, morning Manor, today is um, July 6th, um, 2022. Oh my goodness, that means we are um, in the sixth day of the first month of the new or the second half of the year. So we've already had it. The whole second half is gone and we're going to keep endeavoring um, to get through life um, and support one another. So I um, want to talk with you this morning about being satisfied. Um, being satisfied. Um, and good morning and welcome to Morning Manor. Um, I'm just down today. I'm incognito. Um, because it's more important to me to get this word to you, to encourage you. And I want you to be encouraged and I want you to feel safe and I want you to feel encouraged um, once you leave this word today. Uh, what a glorious day in the Lord this is. And today is Wednesday, July 6th, which means um, it is the sixth day of the second half of the year, as I said, and half of the year is gone now. So you may ask yourself, what is it that you started out in the new year hoping to accomplish and how much have you actually achieved? And some of you will be proud to say that you've accomplished some or even all that you set out to accomplish. Some of you may be dumbfounded about how little you've accomplished. Some of you might say, well, I've never really set out to accomplish much. But God gave me assignment this morning um, to let you know that um, this is an announcement and a clarion call, if you will, that that right now, July will be our month of reset. So coming on the prayer call is not business as usual, but it is to open up a new business agenda, if you will. It's a new season in your life. Glory be to God. And it's time we all get our business straight. No sense of wasting another year ending up where you started. No sense in giving up on your goals and dreams only to end yet another year dissatisfied with the quality of your lifestyle or status. Um, this morning, I want to talk to you about being satisfied. Glory be to God. And I know some of you are getting ready for work, so you can just continue to listen. And I want to invite you to share this page. Share it. Um, share the prayer call line. Um, share the page on YouTube. Um, you can click to also subscribe so that you can get the messages anytime there are there's messages, anytime I come live, anytime I have an announcement or video or special um, event that's happening um, virtually, you'll be notified. So this morning I want to talk about being satisfied. And if you look up the word satisfied, you will find that it means to be contented, pleased, or well-pleased, happy, proud, triumphant, complace, complacent, fulfilled, gratified. Now, we all know that there's some people that will never be satisfied. And we're going to talk about that and find out why we're not satisfied. Glory be to, to God or what it takes to be satisfied. Glory be to God. And the opposite of being satisfied is being dissatisfied, of course. 
um, being not content or unhappy, disappointed, disgruntled, frustrated, vexed, annoyed, irritated, angry, fed up. People say I'm fed up, resentful, restless, cannot rest, just always having anxiety, just always restless, unfulfilled, regretful, using vulgar, vulgar slang and being pissed off. My God. And there are a whole lot of things that we can be dissatisfied with, but God should never be one of them. Glory be to God. Oh, and there are times we might question what God is doing or allowing to happen, but then we must realize that God in his sovereignty can do whatever he wants to do or allow. And at the same time, there are times in our lives when we will we'll be will never be satisfied with a person or a situation until we get what we believe we want or what we believe we need. Hmm. Well, if being satisfied is tied into getting what we want or what we need, then we must ask ourselves, what is it that we want or need? And also, what is the motive or reason behind what we think we want or need? I found out in my studies that there are at least 100 scriptures about being satisfied with God. And David is one who, through his writings, we find out that he went so, through so much in life. And a lot of times, just like some of us, he put himself in situations he put his own self in situations that caused him to have trouble, even to the fact that folks put a hit out on him or they wanted to try to destroy him or kill him. But through all of his ups and downs, David had a unique way of turning his heart and mind around and looking to God in prayer and praise. Glory be to God. Psalm 16 and 11, David reminds us, about how we how we should be satisfied in God by praying. He was praying. He was a praying man. He he prayed. He prayed to God. He reverenced God. He uplifted a God. He he exalted God. Glory be to God. In Psalm sixteen and eleven, David reminds us about how we should be satisfied in God by praying. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. In thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. In Psalm 17 and 15, God uses David to let us know how to be satisfied. And he prays, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I will be satisfied when I wake with thy likeness. And then David teaches us in Psalms 35, 37, Psalms 37, he teaches us to delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait on the Lord, ha, they shall inherit the earth. So that means, you know, earth is life. Earth, it, it grows. Earth, it gives way to fruit in it and it and it and increase. Glory be to God. So God will um, uh, cause you to inherit those things here on earth that you have need of, that you have desire of, according to his will. And God wants you to know that the path of finding any sense of satisfaction is resting in the Lord and waiting patiently for him, waiting on him to answer your prayer and to bring his will to pass. Be patient with God because he knows how much we can bear 
and he also knows what's best for us. Glory be to God. So do not lose your patience and satisfaction with God. Allow your faith to increase by knowing God's word and speaking and praying God's word. And as you come into even more knowledge of God's word, you will know God's voice, his will, and your faith will increase and you will become more satisfied with your life. Glory be to God. So let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God, for this day, God, Lord, that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for all that you are. We thank you for being our friend. We thank you, God, because you said in your word that you would never leave us, never forsake us, but that you would be with us until the end. And you're faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, God, we ask that you forgive us for sins that we know of, sins that we don't know of. God, we ask, God, that you would be with us in this day. God, that we carry you in your, as we carry you in our heart and we carry your word in our heart, that you will have your way, that you will move by your spirit, that you will uh, uh, once again work in our lives on today, God. We welcome the Holy Spirit into our day, God, and we ask, God, that you would have your way, God, that you would go before us, prepare the way, God, as we go to our several occupations, as we go about our day, as we go to school, whatever, attending to our business, God, Lord, that you would be with us. And God, that you would move by your spirit, you will have your way, God. Oh, God, and there's no good thing we know that you will withhold from us, God, because we are in, in you through Christ Jesus. Oh, God, and we thank you, God, Lord, for your divine protection, God. We ask, God, that you would continue to protect us, protect our children, our loved ones, God, those that we know. God, protect everyone on in this earth, God. Lord, just bring your peace, God in our homes, God. Bring peace, God, to every situation, God. God, bring peace to every storm, God. Let the trouble cease, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, and give us way of escape, God, in you, God, into the land that you have, God, to the promises that you've given us, God. Oh, God, that we will be above only and not be beneath, God, that we will be the lender and not the borrower. God, that all of our needs shall, and shall be supplied, God through you, God, and you are our source, God, and you will direct us and give us the resources, God. Let someone come in our path, God, with the resource. Let someone come in our path, God, with the answer and the opportunity, God. As we seek you, God, you said that we would find, God. If we knock, it shall be open. If we ask, it shall be given, and that's what we're doing on today. Help us to be satisfied in you, God. Help us to learn more of your word so that we'll be patient, patient and waiting for the answer, God, patient and trusting you, God, so that our life, we're not filled with frustration and resentment, God, bitterness, God, and, and doubt, God, but that we are full of faith, God, and, um, uh, and optimism, God, and that we're full of excitement and happiness, God, and your joy will be complete in us. Oh, God, if you do these things, God, we'll be so careful to give your name the praise and the glory always. You are worthy. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. I want you to go about your day. Enjoy your day. I'm going to get ready. I have a run to make and then I have to get ready for work. So I want you to do the same and just to allow the Holy Spirit to work and operate. Listen to some good gospel music and remember that without God, nothing is possible. But with God, all things are possible if we believe. I love you. Take care.